My name is Luis Flores. I'm 44 years old. I live in Jackson Heights, New York. When I first came to New York, I lived in Chelsea, and it was too expensive for me to stay in Manhattan. So I moved to, I moved from Chelsea to Astoria to Jackson Heights. My rent has been rising. Um, my rent, I'm now paying under my renewal lease, uh, $1,675 for my studio apartment. I'm in housing court now for the third time because I have fallen behind on my rent. I'm not the only one in this situation. I've seen so many other people, and it's unfair. It's unfair. There, there are working families. There, there are single parent families who everyone is struggling to pay the rent. We live in a rent burden city. I'm looking for a roommate even though I live in a studio apartment and there's gonna be no privacy. I'm considering finding a roommate in order to be able to make this apartment more affordable for myself. One day, your landlord calls you and says, hey, I'm doubling the rent. You either pay the rent or you get out. It's something that the people at the lower end of the income spectrum are made to understand whether they like it or not. You get pushed out, you have to move somewhere else. One of my friends is a teacher and has basically in the past six years has had to move about five times and now lives basically so far from any sort of transportation. And what happens then if you have to move outside of the city, then now you have to pay more to get into work every morning and you take home even less of your paycheck. An important thing to do would be to include small business owners and tenants sort of in the same sorts of organizations they challenge this. A lot of stores have been squeezed out, you know, professionally by high rents. Yes, uh, there's a couple stores around me that are, have closed down for those reasons. I went to look at and make an inquiry about the rent for a store across the street, and they're asking like $4,000 for the rent. There was a general merchandise that closed down, the nail shop here. Uh, closed down, uh, the hair braiding store beside me closed down. If I were to lose my apartment, I'm almost guaranteed to possibly be homeless because it's going to be impossible for me to, to be approved to move into another apartment because I've been in housing court three times in the last year or so. So I'm tied into the address and the space, you know. I created a certain energy here for many years. Um, of course I'm going to miss it, but we propel and move on. I think the stability and life security of people who live in your city should be something like a priority for somebody who's running a city. Um, and I'm absolutely not seeing that be the case. It's been an insufficient response all around.